everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about a game I'm currently playing. So this is going to be a sort of review for Journal 29. Right, so this is an interactive book game. Um, apologies if you're on Discord already, I've talked about, I bang on a lot about uh, sort of the flavour of the month. So I don't play that many games, but when I do, I play it over and over and over and over. So I'm sort of I paint a lot of miniature games, but I don't have the time to play them at the moment. So I'm picking much shorter games that you can sort of pick up and just play. So apologies to those guys who've already heard me talk about this game a lot. Um, but you guys haven't. So what is this game? It is, it's, a, it's a puzzle and riddle book. I'll just flip through. I don't want to spoil too much. I'll talk about it a little bit. But it's a puzzle slash riddle book. It's an interactive game. There's sort of 63 pages in here. And you go around trying to solve these puzzles that are on the, all of these pages and you have to sort of think, draw, write sometimes, fold stuff, search for things, combine things together. You're just trying to solve the puzzle and that's what you're doing. You're just progressing through all of these puzzles trying to get to the end. Oh, there you go, the end. So there are 63 puzzles to solve in this book and what do you need to do it? Well, you need this book and that's, that's about it. You need a pencil. Uh, I don't actually have a pencil anywhere to show you, but you guys know what a pencil looks like. And then you need, you do actually need the internet. Uh, a smartphone is recommended, and that's what I've been using. Um, and that's it. This game's 10, it cost me 10 pounds. I bought it myself, uh, about $10 if you're in America. You know, it's not an expensive game. And I've not sort of written in the book or anything. You, you're supposed to use a pencil in the book, and you can write and draw, and it helps you solve things. But... I've just been using a scraps of paper and writing down the keys on another piece of paper. I'll explain how the game works in a moment. So I've not actually touched this book. So it's taken a bit of batter because it's, it's, you know, it's paperback. It's quite thin. But other than that, somebody else could completely use this after I've finished. So it's, it's a legacy game that you can only play once. Once you've gone through it and solved all the puzzles, I think it, you couldn't do it again maybe years and years and years later. But I think it'd be too easy. But if you're like me, I've got to... I'm two thirds of the way through and I've not damaged a single page yet. And I've gone through a lot of the pages that you might need to. I don't want to give it too much away, but you might need to use, let's say. And I haven't had to do that. So this book is essentially completely either as a gift. I can give it away at the end or I can resell it. So $10 and I can resell it. What, $5, $8? You know, this game could essentially be almost free to, to some people. And it doesn't take too much away not writing on the pages. I'll talk about that as well. So how do you play? There's four steps to this game. Let's begin. So it explains a bit how you play. And it gives you an example puzzle. So we can just use it. Oh, it even tells you the steps. So step one is you solve the puzzle. So this is the puzzle. This page is particularly easy. I will spoilers. It is, it is the tutorial though, so hopefully you won't hate me too much, but if you don't want to hear the answer to this or pause it now, etc., or skip ahead a little bit, but 25 plus 4, mm, 29. So then you can scan this using a QR scanner on your phone if you've got one, or you can just type this in. It's not a long address. I, I actually type most of these in on my phone because it's quicker than loading the app to do that. So it's just journal29.com slash zero, and then... Apologies, but I'm recording on my phone, so I can't just show you. But on there, there's just an input box. You type in the answer to the puzzle, in this case, 29, and press sort of submit. And then it goes away and tells you if you're correct. And it gives you a key, which is another word, let's say. And you're supposed to write it down here. But as I said, I'm putting it all on a separate piece of paper. So that's that puzzle solved. And then you would go on to a little bit of fluff here and then you go on to the next puzzle so i'll show you this puzzle but i won't spoil it for anybody i won't explain any of this but you'd progress through and you go through a couple of puzzles i won't show you the whole book i'm just trying to get to a bit where you would start using the keys so eventually you'll hit another puzzle and it wants you to reuse some of those keys you've written down previously so it makes it quite well you can't just skip ahead because you're going to need keys in various places so it keeps checking that you've got the answer to the puzzle correct and then you've got to solve another puzzle using some keys uh it's a pretty clever little mechanism to make sure you've done you, i don't think you have to do all of them because i've i had to skip one because i wasn't able to do it because i wasn't at home and i needed something from home to do it 
and I was able to skip one ahead and progress. But for the most part, it does make you do them in order. So it's quite cool in that. Now, if you do get stuck, and so I'm currently up to 44 or something. I've got quite, quite a way through this book so far. And if you do get stuck, which I haven't, this book is not easy, believe me. Some of them solve, you know, instantly, no problem, as I'm sure a lot of people would. You know, some of them just appear, you know, appeal to my brain and my brain can solve that. Others, I've gone away from multiple, well, I've only had this book game a week. I've gone away for a day <laughs> and we've thought about it. My wife's playing it with me, so we're both playing it together. So we've got two brains as well and we think very differently. So we're quite quick at solving a bunch of them. But she has phoned me from work a day after we've read the puzzle to discuss what what she thought. So that's that's quite an interesting aspect. Now, if you do get stuck though, there is a forum and they have hints and they, they will give you the answer if you would like to progress but not had to do that yet the longest the puzzles taken sort of a day of you know casually thinking about it not just sitting there hardcore think 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 but a lot of them it's probably on average for us about 10 minutes a puzzle so far and then some are a little bit tricky but they're all they've all been most enjoyable and very interesting so far for us so that's how you play um i sort of just reviewed it a little bit there but what else can i say about this game but yeah, as I mentioned, it's, it is hard, but it's not too hard. It's really enjoyable. What I find this game most like is escape rooms. My wife and myself love escape rooms. If you enjoy escape rooms, this is essentially an escape room book. It's all the puzzles that you would normally do in an escape room, you know, to get the key and get out of that, that room. So that that's exactly what this feels like to me, and that's probably why I love it so much. So spoilers, I, I love this game, and my wife loves it. She thinks this is the best game I own, which, you know, I own a lot of games and some of them are pretty good. So that's a bold statement, but we can play this anywhere. We're really loving that aspect, as I've mentioned in some games previously, that being able to play anywhere is a big, big benefit. You know, we can, we've got a, a toddler, so <laughs> we have to squeeze in games where and when we can. Just wish I had this before we went on vacation. We'd have loved to just chill by the pool, you know, on the beach, having a quick game at this in the sun. Now, as I mentioned, another benefit is it is cheap to buy and you can sell on if you look after it, you can sell it on afterwards. So expense wise, it's not going to cost very much money. Uh, another part for me is, as I'm sure a lot of you like, we, we play board games, they're quite tactile, you, you like the feel and a lot of people read, I actually don't read myself, um, but the feel of a book, you know, it's, it's the same as the feel of a board game and this is combining the two, it's a book and game in one, so you've got double that sense of the feel of and I, you know i do feel i'm losing a little bit by not drawing in these these pages because i like that that ownership of a notebook and writing scribblings and notes and stuff like that so that's another plus for it as for cons it is well it's a plus and a negative it is paperback it is taking a bit of damage you know it is wearing out as i said we've only owned this about a week and you can see it's already you know it doesn't stay shut anymore some pages of bent it's getting knocked corners i actually like that it adds to that tactile that used feel it makes makes me happier but it might be unappealing for others and then the other con is there's not actually much story to it there seems to be this little bit of fluff here explaining you know this is a journal that's been left behind and then there's the odd few notes as you go through now i'm not at the end so i can't be certain whether it does have a story by the end but so far it doesn't feel like there's a huge story if you care about that as I said, I don't actually read that much, so it's not really a big problem for me. I just wanted to mention it. So that's about it. I, you know, I give this game ten out of ten, which is a big statement for me. I'll show you. I'll just include now um, my. I, I keep track of all the games I play, and you can laugh at the games I've got. But this is heading towards one of the top played games this year. As I mentioned, it's my wife's favorite game, so we get to have that interaction. She doesn't play many games, so we get to spend some time playing a game, which I love and spending time with my wife, which I love. And then finally, I guess it's just um, the sequel to this, Journal 29 Revelation, it's called, is currently on Kickstarter. If you would like to check that out, I'll put a, a link in the description below. I will also put a link to this on Amazon in the description below, where that's where I bought it from, so point you to it. And yeah, if you like escape rooms, I highly recommend you check this out. And if you've got $10 to spend, to spend or to spare or both 
make it so I don't think you'll be disappointed if you like riddles, puzzles, escape rooms, that sort of thing. Thank you all very much for watching.